Hey, it's Joe Lines. This video, I'm going to demonstrate how to filter data in Excel with AutoHotKey. Um, there's a couple functions I have in my function library. Let's say the first one, let's just say I want to turn on auto filters. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't do this a lot because it's not overly helpful, but um, filter, let's turn on the filters and pass your pointer. So I'm going to save it, reload it, run it. And now just the filters you saw them come on. If I actually run this again, it'll, it'll toggle them back off. Um, so let's shift on to the next one here, Excel filter column. And I have up to two filters that you can add into it. I could programmatically do more, but um, usually for me, two is enough. So Excel, what column do I want to filter on? Let's say column B. And I'm going to filter on, let's do threes. So save it, reload it, run it. And so now you can see in column B, all that are threes, we can look in here and see that it's showing you that it's filtered on three. Um, I, oh, you know what? Let me, let me demonstrate my next Excel filter, clear auto filter. So, oh, passing the pointer. So get rid of this one and that'll get rid of the filter. Um, you know what? Let's just put in a sleep here of 3000 and that will, um, turn off the filter after three seconds. So filter three, and then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna filter column B on threes and let's say fives. So save, reload, and run it. And so now in column B, I have threes and fives, right? And then it's gonna turn them back off. But uh, this is a quick, easy way to, to build in filters if you use them a lot, especially for reporting, right? You wanna go through and just apply some filters every time. And this is a quick, easy way to programmatically set that. Hope that helps, thanks.